Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am wearing the shirt that I made in my live tutorial last night. If you missed it, don't worry. I will leave a link below this video so you can see it. In today's tutorial, what I'm showing you how to do is sublimate on glitter HTV. Now, this is not a new process, but the way I'm doing it with the photos that I'm using tonight, I think you will love it. My mom is going to love it. This is what the finished product looks like. So without further ado, let's get started. The materials I'm using for this project include my Cricut Explore Air 2, my 15 by 15 clamshell Starcraft heat press. I use Hippo Sublimation Ink, a sub sublimation paper. I'm using white butcher paper, a Teflon sheet, parchment paper, my green standard grip mat. I'm also going to be using my lavender pin pin weeding tool. I'll make sure to leave a link to this below. It's my favorite weeding tool. I'm also using a 100% cotton gildan shirt. And that is just about it. Oh, and my printer is an Epson EcoTank 2760 printer that I converted to use for sublimation. Okay, so without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. I already have the photo that I'm going to use downloaded, so I'm going to add it to my canvas. It is this photo of my mom, my brother, my sister, and I. I'm going to bring the photo down to 10 inches wide. Then I'm going to go over and grab a, the text. The text that I'm using or the font that I'm using is one that is called Impact. So I'm going to go to the top and look for that font. I have the caps lock on and I have typed the word mom. I'm going to bring the word mom to the top of my photo and I'm just going to resize it big enough to make sure that our faces fit inside the letters. I'm not concerned about the size because I'll make sure that it's sized correctly before it's time to print it and cut it. Once I have our photos inside the letters, I will slice it out and delete the photo and delete the letters. Now I'm left with those three letters, mom and the photo in the uh, size that I want it to be. Now I'm going to go in and add an offset and good news. Now the offset feature is available on mobile devices with the new updates. The offset that I've chosen for this photo is 0 0.075. I feel like that's an adequate um, size offset because I don't want it to overpower the photo. Changing the color of the offset to blue because it matches the colors that we are wearing in the photo. Once I have it the way that I want it, I will go ahead and flatten it. So I'm flattening the picture to the offset. The next thing I'm going to do is resize the width of this image to 9.25 and I will unlock it and resize the height to 5.0. I feel like that's an adequate size for our photo. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate it and I will unflatten the duplicated image and change it from a print then cut to a basic cut. I remove the photo from the top and I'm just changing the bottom layer to a basic cut. This will be my glitter HTV. I'm going to save my project so that just in case anything happens, I can come back to it and I, I haven't lost all of my work. And now that both of these images, the glitter HTV and our flattened image are the same size, I'm going to click make it. When I get to this screen, I will mirror my image and move it all the way over to the other side of the mat. And I'm also going to make sure to mirror my second mat and I'm going to move my glitter HTV down to the one and one axis. I'm going to click print. I am going to select my sublimation printer. I keep the add bleed option on. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to select my printer. I'm going to click print. When my printer settings come up, 
I'm going to choose the option to not mirror. And I'm also going to make sure to do a print preview. This will save ink. It'll save paper. It will save time just in case it doesn't look the way I want it to look. I'll get my print preview and make sure that it matches what is on my mat. And everything from here will be back on the camera. My heat press is set to 320 degrees. I am going to fold my shirt in half and get a crease down the middle. And I'm, I've made sure to remove the tag. The crease down the middle will make sure that I am centering my shirt. Just gonna press it right here for five seconds. I have my HTV weeded out. I am going to fold it in half to get a crease down the middle and I'll put this crease on top of the crease that's on the shirt. I have my heat press heating up to 400 degrees. And in the meantime, I am going to take a piece of butcher paper and I'm going to put it inside the shirt to protect the chances of any of the ink going through from one side of the shirt to the other. Now I will start to carefully remove the three letters from the mat. I will place them carefully on top of the three letters of glitter HTV that is already on the shirt. I will use Cricut heat resistant tape to tape them down securely before I move the shirt over back to the heat press and I will press it on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Moving my shirt to my heat press, I have butcher paper inside the shirt. I'm also going to put butcher paper on top of my sublimated image. And I'm also going to put a sheet, uh, a Teflon sheet on top of that to prevent scorching on my shirt. My heat press is set to 400 degrees and I'm gonna press it right here for 60 seconds. My heat press is beeping and that lets me know that it is ready. I am going to remove my Teflon sheet and bring my shirt down from the heat press and get ready for the reveal. Now it's time for the reveal. So let me pull the paper back. Ooh, <laughs> what am I going to say? I love it. I love it. And I know my mom is going to love it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.